Keto, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I think anybody else that would have had to deal with what I dealt with would have probably been down here too. Excuse me, you messed up my back and you can't take full responsibility for that ugly tattoo. Well, I ended up giving in and pretty much letting her coach the whole drawing. That's not my work. That was all you, and it looks horrible. To survive the first elimination, you must tattoo whatever your canvas wants. Dude. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo whatever your canvas wants, and your time begins now. If you go downward, you get more of a harsher line. He's suggesting things, and I'm not always going to agree with it. You're rushing it. Too fast. Chill. Damn. I didn't get here by crawling. I got here on my own. I got it. We're an autopilot now. You have three hours to go, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Hop up and take a look. Real nice. The chain came out real nice. Thanks, dude. You're doing a portrait, and you failed at it, man. Master that before you do it. Otherwise, you're going to fail. Today, nine of you needed to prove your overall ability tattooing your canvases with the subject and style they chose. Brian. The overall ability in this tattoo is questionable. You completely lost it on the lettering. Looking at the E, look how many wobbles and stuff there are in a line that's about that big. If you can't pull a line this big, how are you going to pull a line this big? I can do it. I can pull clean lines, and I'm confident in that. I didn't show it. Hell of a time to hold back. Today, you had one last chance to prove your overall ability. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to pack your machines. Brian. When I get down to it, the fundamentals. This lettering doesn't do it, man. Who's going home? Clearly, we are debating the two portraits. You guys talk a lot about fundamentals, apprenticeship. Lettering is a fundamental. That's a strike against Brian. Chris? Brian. The judges have decided, Brian, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. The three of you have been put up for elimination by the jury of peers and the human canvas jury. You've each been randomly assigned a human canvas, and you will have four hours to complete your tattoo. For this face-off, you must tattoo an eagle created by Richard Stell. Richard Stell original drawing of an eagle. It looks very flat. I don't like it. Artists, now is the time to prove yourselves. If you can't create a legible tattoo, you'll be packing your machines. And your time begins now. Let's put that stencil on, brother man. I want to like roll over too far, it's where you can't see it. There's hard things and easy things about this face-off. You know you have a good, solid eagle to work from. Yeah, I feel good about that. The hard part is if you don't know how this is supposed to be shaded and how it's supposed to be colored, you could do it totally wrong and get sent home. You just keep your pace up, and you'll have time to nitpick. Focus on that leg. Don't let yourself get too carried away. There's certain people that I want to help, and there's certain people that I don't want to help. I'm not going to give one piece of advice to Ryan, because I want that kid out of here. I hate cocky sons of bitches, and I'm not going to put up with him. No black in there. Tilt that back when you take this. St. Marcus breathing down the back of my neck. But make sure you get that. The dude will not back off. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Do this, do that, do this, do that. It's messing with my mind. You gotta put yellow there. I brush through that, get, get rid of that. Ryan isn't listening to a thing that I say. You can't just put yellow straight up black, dude, it turns green. I'm not sure if he thinks that I'm trying to misguide him. I'm not. If you wanna be arrogant, that's fine. He's gotta be going home. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. I'm good. No more ink. Keto, Earl, and Ryan, you faced off tattooing an American traditional design by Richard Stell. Today, one of you will be packing your machines. Ryan. 
The quality of this tattoo is the best craftsmanship I've seen you do since you got here. The shoulders and crest of the wings are my favorite. The shading down the center as opposed to one side or the other just looks like it's actually the crest. But the stippling dot work in the eagle's head, that's not the best choice. It's a mistake. It makes it like overly dark, it makes it look like it's dirty. It's not traditional. Time to debate this thing out. Three badass bold tattoos here. This is between Keto and Ryan. One of those two dudes is going home. Looking at these two, there's things I don't like about both of them, but there's more things I don't like about Ryan's. It's the speckles in the head and that blacked out tail. My pick is Ryan. Ryan. The judges have decided, Ryan, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Today, you must create a stained glass tattoo. What the f is a stained glass tattoo? I've never done a stained glass tattoo in the 17 years that I've been tattooing. This popular style consists of brightly colored images broken up by black lines to mimic the look of actual stained glass. You'll have six hours to create a stained glass tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Artists, you have six hours to prove contrast. Your time begins now. Boom, bitch. A little truth here. When you think of stained glass, you think of the sun shining through bright colors and making a dynamic image. All right, you ready? But what we're looking for is that the contrast enhances the image. If you can't meet up to that, it's time to go home. What are you going to do in there? Because that looks like that's going to require a lot of work. It's going to require a lot of work. My canvas came in with a million ideas. God bless it almighty. What a struggle. I might not be doing totally stained glass, but hopefully all this wins me some points. One of the things that they need to score you on is dealing with clients. I'm going to get a lot of points for this one. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right, we're done. Today, you had to use contrast to make vibrant stained glass tattoos. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist, and we will directly compare your work. Miami. It just doesn't have the stained glass feel. He was one of those clients that would be on the verge of walking out. I did whatever it took to keep him in that seat. Well, I'll say that it definitely looks like a carousel horse. One of my problems with this tattoo is in judging contrast. It's a little murky. I think that you blew your wad doing that frame around it. It could have helped you out in contrast if those dark areas of black were really solid and the gold frame was really vibrant. But it looks like it was too much for you to handle in the amount of time. If you can't meet the challenge, you could be the best tattoo in the world, but you're going home. Today, you are being tested on contrast. Keto did a good job with trying to do the stained glass. Miami didn't do any stained glass. I did what my client wanted You're me not to the do. Only one you know, there, man. but I'm talking. Did. So please, I was dealt chicken. I made a chicken salad. You're down here for a multitude of reasons, man. We see line mistakes in here. We see saturation issues with color. I busted my ass on that tattoo. I didn't take the easy way out. I mean, doing a cross is two arrows stacked on top of each other. If you look at my tattoo, it's a smooth tattoo. If you can't line up a like cross it, on someone's it, back, it, you don't need to be tattooing, Jack. We got to debate who's going home. Keto tried to do stained glass. He didn't knock it out of the park, but he did it. My thing right now is with C's and with Miami. When people miss the challenge, then we have to fall back to the fundamentals. The one that has the most problems is Miami's. Which way are you leaning, Chris? Miami. The judges have decided, Miami, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Any given punch in a fight could be the one that knocks you out. And this is just that. Your canvases today all want ancient Egyptian images characterized by their fine details. In this elimination tattoo, you will be tattooing head to head against two other artists. What? Damn. That means three artists must tattoo the same subject. One artist will win, and two will lose. I'm screwed. You'll have six hours to create a detailed Egyptian tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. OK, artists, you have six hours to show detail with Egyptian tattoos. And your time begins now. You're tougher than me, bro, because I wouldn't even attempt it. 
I've had to fight for every single inch of tattoo that I've put in. He's either moving, shaking, cringing, and it's horrible. I try to warn you, it was gonna be a rough area. It's not even about the time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to even touch his skin anymore with this needle. I think we would have been done if it was on, like, on another part of the body. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right, we are done. Today, you had to create intricately detailed Egyptian tattoos. Each of you tattooed against two other artists, and we will directly compare your work. One artist will win, two artists will lose. Lose, and you could be out of this competition for good. Marissa, MV, and Chris went head to head tattooing the Sphinx. MV. Well, I am glad you followed Marissa because otherwise I'm not exactly sure if I would know what this is. A sphinx, by definition, is a lion with a human head, sometimes depicted with wings. I just don't think it looks like a sphinx to me. That body looks more like a seal or a sea lion or a walrus. It doesn't look like a lion. In a detail challenge, you have no deliberate detail throughout this tattoo. If you didn't nail this, which I don't think you did, you put yourself in a situation that's tough. Today, you had to take ancient images and translate them to skin, MV. The biggest problem with this one is if it wasn't for the Sphinx head, I wouldn't know what it was. What's a Sphinx? A Sphinx is the lion's body. What's this a lion's does not a look cat? like a lion body. <laughs> if you just look at the backside of that body and the belly and the hind leg. I wanted to put more into that. I fought to get that much into it. You put too much as it is. It does not look good. Oh, my god. MV, you OK? What's up? What's going on? Details is what I do. I'm not going to go out on a detail challenge. I know what I'm doing. Give me another chance to see what's up. The details that you put in this tattoo envy make it not look like what it's supposed to look like. So therefore, I think that's the fail. I'm going to vote for envy. If I don't know what I'm looking at from 10 feet away, I think it'd have to be envy. All right. Envy. The judges have decided. MV, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Man, it's not how you get knocked down. It's how fast you get up. And you should be standing. You should be proud. Today, it was just a tough choice that you gave yourself to convey what it was that the subject matter should have been. This week, we're testing ingenuity. Ingenuity in a tattoo is using a design in a creative way to work well on the body and be visually appealing. Today, you must find a unique way to use your canvas's anatomy to make your tattoo come to life. What? What does that mean? From armpits to belly buttons to a fist or a foot, you must work with the shape and movement of that body part to create an illusion. Like, seriously? You will be tattooing head to head against one other artist. Oh, no. One artist will win, and one will lose. Lose, and this could be your last day in this competition. Artists, you have six hours to create an illusion. And your time begins now. In order to achieve an optical illusion tattoo properly, you're going to really have to know the anatomy and dynamics of the image that you're tattooing and the body part that you're placing it on. Are you open to artist interpretation? I'd like to stick to the wolves, really. I got dished the canvas possible. It's a wolf in the armpit, and this is not going to translate well. It's going to hurt. I know, but this is going to be my second tattoo. You're definitely going to earn this tattoo. I'm hating life. I really don't want to do this tattoo. It sucks. Oh, no. Ow, 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 ow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, hold on. Hold on. Please. My canvas is being sissy. It's making me stop every two seconds. Uh. Hold on, hold on again. I'm going into freakout mode. I suffer from bipolar disorder, and sometimes my emotions get in the way. I'm beyond furious at this point. I just want to finish the tattoo. I know. Ready to rock and roll? <laughs> if he doesn't make it through this, <laughs> he's basically sending me home. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. 
No more ink. Today, you had to use ingenuity to come up with a clever way to transform your canvas's body part. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Earl. This thing is ugly, bro. This was a living nightmare. By 10 minutes in, he was crying. This tattoo is riddled with weird choices. On the side of the nose, there's those two divots that almost look like that may be where his eyes would be. That's literally off the picture. Just because your reference was a real photo doesn't mean that the tattoo is real looking. You made this look like his eyes yeah, dude, are on his upper lip. It's crazy. Today, you had to use ingenuity to create an illusion on your canvas's skin. Earl. This is by far the most unattractive tattoo of the day. As detailed as I could get it, as it was in his armpit. You say it's detailed, it's but it's detailed hard to tell what the f is going on. It's so those details are a failed attempt at detail. The face is disjointed. I get it. You look at this, and it's like, would no, no, you no, no, want no, this no, on man. you? I get it. In my situation, I did the best I could with what I was given. I at least did the challenge. I'm here to play a game and fight. So what's your vote? Earl goes home. I'm gonna vote for Earl. The judges have decided. Earl, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's my fault, man. I couldn't, I couldn't get it in the game, man. That's this room, man. This room does it to the best of them. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must tattoo a Japanese koi fish. <gasps> in front of Chris Nunez. Koi fish rely on clean, solid lines to make them strong, readable images. There's even more. Oh, man. Stop it, man. For your tattoo, you must all use the same koi fish. What? Mike has created the outline of the fish, but it's up to you to add the scales, details, and background, making the tattoo come to life on the skin. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a koi fish as good as Mike Rubendahl's. And your time begins now. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Bam. 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 It'll make me feel better. We ain't got a whole lot of time, so I gotta get on it. Oh my god, my poor back. I'm not happy with it. It looks like pee. Like the fish is pee. What kind of is that? This bitch is crazy. Like, I can't figure out how to please her. You're telling me that that doesn't look like a puddle right now? It's a water splash. Looks like my niece drew it. Well, don't, don't insult me, man. I have to live with this, and you're not paying for my removal. I'm going to fix it. Now, they made it this far, and I've been having all these nutty-ass canvases all this time. She's by far the worst. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up. No more ink. What about the other flower? What happened? And it's time to finish it. Today, you had to tattoo head to head with our guest judge. The bar is definitely set here. Keto. I know you had a struggle, but man, every centimeter of this tattoo shows that struggle. This line work is this poor. She was kicking her feet. Every stroke on that tattoo, she was moving. The drawing is one of the worst layouts of the day. The shape of the water, totally strange. That top lotus flower looks like an artichoke. There's no redeeming qualities to this tattoo whatsoever. Keto, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I think anybody else who would have had to deal with what I dealt with would have probably been down here too. Excuse me, you messed up my back, and you can't take full responsibility for that ugly tattoo. I ended up giving in and pretty much letting her coach the whole drawing. That's not my work. That was all you, and it looks horrible. What specifically don't you like? I don't like the lining, the colors, the flower placement. I don't like the water placement at all. You're dealing with an awful work that you just did on my back that unfortunately I have to live with for like ever. Okay, now I don't like think I said, you're getting that. I'm just too intelligent, man, for any rebuttal right now. Just leave it at that. Mary Jean, I hope that you find a solution to this. Thank you. Thank you. Guido. I can't disagree with your canvas. This is a bad drawing. The end result is a poor tattoo. I was just trying to finish it at some point. I was trying to turn something in. 
I don't think that any one of us find any redeeming qualities in this tattoo. Final decision. Keto's is by far the one with the most problems. It just didn't have any kind of composition that I can get behind. Keto, you let your canvas beat you. If we eliminate the canvas, the fundamentals beat you. So I would have to vote for Keto. The judges have decided. Keto, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Hold it down, man. Yeah, man. Chris and St. Mark, your teammates determined that you were the weakest. You must now face off for survival. Cruzman, Craig, Eric, and Marissa, you won tattoo of the day. You had to design the tattoo for this face-off. We chose to go with an anatomical heart. It's a very fair design. We left it open so that both of them can take creative liberties and just do their thing. I think we're up to the challenge. I love a head-to-head -head challenge. This is where I shine. They might as well just feed him to me. I'm up for this challenge. I think you're going to see one of the most textured, realistic cars you're ever going to see. I'm a texture master. I can rock this tattoo. You have four hours to tattoo head to head. Let's bring in your canvases. Good to meet you. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. And your time begins now. Crazy looking. I've been told my tattoos feel like baby angel kisses. I am never nervous when it comes to tattooing. I'm setting myself up for success in choosing a black and gray piece. How's it going back there? Going great. Good. Wish you could see it. I am Saint <laughs> Mark. I am a tattoo god. There's texture on my texture. Mark's doing the same <laughs> he's done the entire competition. Yeah, he hasn't changed it up a bit. And that's going to bite him in the ass. I'm just ready for St. Mark to be gone. He is a one-trick guy. He's been doing the same thing for so many years. He's not the tattooer he thinks he is. Good in black and gray, too. I mean, obviously. Really, on a challenge like this, I feel like you could accomplish more texture with color. Totally. I'm sick of being around him and his ego. St. Mark, if you don't go home today, I'm taking you out personally. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machines down. No more ink. insane. Look at that <laughs> texture monster. <laughs> and what was the challenge again? By the look on Chris's face, I definitely think he knows he's going home. <sighs> That's the scary part. Chris, St. Mark, today you faced off with a design created by your competitors. One of you will be staying, and one of you will be packing your machines. Here we are with two of our strongest competitors down in the bottom. I think in a perfect world, I would rather see these two guys compete longer. Definitely. St. Mark. From a distance, man, this thing looks really smooth and really slick. The texture you put in there shows a lot of depth, and it really lets this thing look three-dimensional. You have a crisp outline around the outside, and it gives it the strength, but the veins that come down through the heart that don't have any outline, that's the one part where you could have used a little more definition. And to have at least one crisp edge, it would have made that definition stand out. But it's a very nice effect overall. This whole tattoo plays very strongly to your strengths, and it shows that you can get it in and get it done. We got to make a decision here. Who's going home? If I'm going to judge just on a texture challenge, Chris nailed it. As far as the whole tattoo goes, it is a little more flat, but there is a level of excellence in Chris's tattoo that's just a notch above what St. Mark did. Chris wins it. Chris? The judges have decided, St. Mark, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This is a sad day for the competition when somebody strong goes home. There's a lot more challenges coming up that who knows how you would have done in them. We'll never know. St. Mark, please pack your machines and close shop. <laughs>